Okay, so this is for my autoethnography. Um, a little bit, a little bit about me. I played baseball from the time that I was three to this past spring, um, and I was 22 when I graduated. Um, a lot of the weekends growing up were spent at ball fields, and a lot of met a lot of good people, um, made a lot of fun experiences. But I also saw some things I didn't like, and. Before I get into that, um, after graduation from high school, I decided to go to a junior college up north, NLC Tonkawal, other, otherwise known as Northern Oklahoma College of Tonkawal. Um, it is approximately an hour and a half north and about 15 minutes west of Ponca City. And when I got there, I enjoyed it, I enjoyed the guys, but the mentality was different than I was used to. The mentality there was I. By that I mean junior college is only two years so after that you have to find somewhere else to go play and there's some good and there's some bad with that. The good is you'll most likely get to play, the bad is you have to put out good numbers in order to go out and play where you want to play. So that breeds the I mentality of I need to get hits, I need to have better statistics, I need to do this. Right, and instead, that makes it where the wins and the team really doesn't matter. So, played my two years there, and then I went to SNU. I came to SNU, and I had other opportunities to go play, but it was just something that I just wasn't feeling right about. So, I decided to come here, felt right at peace with it. The coaches, the staff, the uh, faculty, the professors, everybody was just really welcoming and whatnot. Um, and the mentality here was we over I. And I think that's what really switched it over my mindset. And the epiphany really wasn't that I wanted to be a coach because I already knew that I wanted to be a coach, but the epiphany was that I wanted to be a Christ-like coach. And by that, I mean I wanted to embody what it is to be a Christian. I wanted to be forgiving, um, wanted to be fun, and I wanted to spread the gospel, really. And that is why I identified as secularization, secularization, I have a problem saying that word, but uh, that was the social theory that I identified as. Really, I just didn't like, I didn't want baseball to be continued to be played as the I mentality. And I believe through religion and baseball, it is the best mix to try to stray away from that because baseball is a game of failure. You have to figure out how to deal with failure and you have to find out how to stay confident when you fail and that's the biggest thing really. All the good players do it. And speaking of good players, baseball is also and also a lot like other sports, the best players do not are not always held to the same standards as the average Joes, the JV players and whatnot. And that's something that really uh, did not sit right with me. I think being held accountable is something that will help you out in the long run. Obviously, some people might not like it from the get-go, but sooner or later, the game has to end for you. And how accountable you can hold yourself will have a very good correlation to how successful you are in whatever you do after you're done playing the sport. So yeah, that is my autoethnography. I hope that I did it right. And yeah, oh, another thing also, when I first started coming here, there were some racial issues going on throughout the United States and abroad. And that really just wanted me to be more of a Christ-like coach instead of just a coach. And anybody can be a coach but anybody can be a coach and win games. Anybody can be a coach and get good players. But what do those players go do once they're done? I don't do it just, I don't want to do it just to see their short-term success. I want them to be successful after. I want them to be able to teach some of like, their kids what I taught them here. And that has nothing, there is no tolerance for racism and stereotyping and various other bad mindsets and that really just gave me another reason to do why 
I do what I do. To do why I do. To do what I do for why I do. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. That is my autoethnography.